Hello, my name is Jim Murphy, Program Manager here at SkyCore on the Lark Router team. In this video, we're going to walk through installing Lark Router on a Linux machine. So the first thing we do is come to larkrouter.com and we click on our download link. Lark Router has been designed to run in Docker containers and will run on any operating system that Docker supports. Your organization may already be running Docker, and so if you reach out to them and let them know that any information they need to install Lark Router is available on the Docker Hub under SkyCore slash LarkD. We've, we're working in this case with Docker Compose, which is a scripting tool that will install all of the containers and pull down all of the latest images we need for a default setting. So the first thing I'm going to do is download the Docker Compose YAML file, which is the script. I'm going to download the one for Linux. And then I'm also going to download this variables file. We're going to come back to these because we do need to make a couple of edits on them. And now we can continue. We're going to connect into our instance. And I'm going to use PuTTY to connect into my instance here. And so the first thing I knew, need to do is install Docker. And for Amazon Web Services, I can use their package store in order to download it. And the command for that happens to be sudo yum install docker minus y. Now that's going to install the Docker package. And now I need to start the Docker service. So to get that up and running, it's sudo start a sudo service docker start. Now the service is up and running. Now what I like to do is make a directory for it to be working in for the Lark system. So I'm going to make a directory called LarkD. And then I'm going to change directory to that, which is LarkD. And now I need to copy my YAML file in. And what I find to be the easiest, because I need to edit some of these anyways, is I'm just going to open, the open up a new file. So I'm going to use the nano command, nano docker compose.yaml. And now I'm going to come back to the files that I've just downloaded. And open this up. And in this case, I don't need to make any changes to my ports or configurations. But if you did, you could make your changes here. So I'm going to just copy this information. I will go back to my editor. Paste it. Save the file. Now I need to create the variables file, which is, I'm going to do the same thing, nano variables.env. And I'm going to go back to the files that I downloaded, open up my variables file. And here I do need to make a change because I need to accept my end user license agreement. And once I've read and confirmed it, I just go to accept EULA and equal yes. I can all I should also change my Postgres password to something a little more secure. I will be deleting this afterwards, so I'm not too concerned. I will highlight the information here. Come back to my editor, paste it, save it. And now all I need to do is run the command docker compose up minus D. Now this will go out and get the latest software package for the Lark router. It will configure all of the containers, the network connections, 
and the database. And now that everything is up and running, I can go over to my web page again. And this is the IP address I was given for that server. And all I have to do is open it up. And if I come back to my download page, we will actually give you the login name and password. And you will see here that I can log in. And now I'm inside the Lark router. So it's up and running and installed. Thank you for watching.